Okay, for this design, I have chosen 0,224 uh, copper for the primary. And I'm rolling it in such a manner that um, we have a balanced uh, DC resistance on the output transformer. So first thing I do is I, I zero my, my, my counter and I fit the copper wire through the, the bobbin sides. So first thing I want to do is I want to see more or less how many windings I get for one layer. So here we go. The first layer doesn't go the full width of the bobbin due to a radius in the bobbin's cavity. But it does give a good idea of what you can expect to put down how many windings each layer will be practical. The idea is to, 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 to roll it so that there's no wires crossing over each other and that the windings are nice and neat, tightly fitting snugly against each other. It's easy to, to, to move them up with a thumb without overdoing it, just to remove any gaps between successive rolls. Okay, let's move them up a bit, the windings, remove any gaps, it's looking good, first layer is nearly done. The first layer is usually a little bit more difficult because of the, the, the burrs in the plastic. I'll show you now when we move to the next level how things get easier as you move on with the transformer. Okay, we're nearly done with the first layer. Oopsie, I can see a crossed over wire over there. Let me unroll to, to that point and redo that. There we go. Here's the problem. There we go. Fixed up. Good. Let's move the windings up again. 
There's no gaps. Let's see how many windings are we getting in. We're now at 124. We can roll another few without too much of a problem. And let's call it. Let's stop here. So we're now at 127 windings per layer.